Uncensored, maybe. We'll see. We maybe a little uncensored. censored. Because <laughs> everybody knows we became friends, we met, we started dating, and we both worked for the Raptors together. But they don't know, I guess, the full story of how us how transpired. Yeah, and being strangers to becoming really good friends yeah. to dating. And it's like quite a whirlwind of a story, I suppose. So the story begins uh, my first game ever having worked for the Raptors. I was working as. Was that your first game? It was my first game. It was preseason. I was very new to everything. I was like, as I mentioned, throwing the t shirts everywhere. And before, um, like pre tip, before anything happens, really, um, y'all go on court and do a little one, two. The camera guy, like the guy who's controlling what's on the Jumbotron, was obsessed with her. And I loved it because for me, I'm sitting there, I'm watching, I'm looking at the Jumbotron, and all of a sudden this like picture of you comes up. And I was like, who the hell is this? <laughs> like, I, we need to meet ASAP. And so I like turned to all my friends that I was working with and I was like, yo, who's this girl? Like, what's good? And they're like, oh, like that's Shay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm like getting so awkward telling this story because <laughs> it's so creepy. But yeah, they're like, yeah, she's really great, whatever. And I was like, all right. Dibs, shoddy, no one speak to this girl but me this entire season. This my girl, like done. And I have like the receipts to prove that this is fact. That is fact. I have all the receipts. All the receipts, yeah. which is hilarious looking back on now. I know. I so obsessed. It. I just love it. I love it. I love looking back at that now though. It's really cool. It's to look so back random. At. Anyways, whatever. So then <laughs> after I had like first seen her. Has it seen her? After I saw her. After I saw her. her. <laughs> After I first saw her, I just like made a point to be where she I sound like a stalker. You were a stalker. She wasn't a stalker. I sound like it though. I'm like, I made a point to be where she was. You do. Like, yeah. I just really wanted do. to get to know her. I wanted to like I don't know. I was trying to make But it point. helps that we got along so well. Yeah. Because like I loved seeing you and I loved when you were to come to my game. Just like appeared everywhere. Whoop. I'm like, oh, it's so weird that you're here. I didn't know you would be. I didn't look at the schedule. What, what was like your vibe when I was a full-fledged stalker trying to be your BFF? Oh, I didn't see it like that though. Just because like, like you said, we hit it off from the start. Yeah. It was like seeing your best friend everywhere. Yeah. And I was like, hey, you, why are you oh, here? Oh, you're here and there. Oh, you're, you're I'm here. everywhere. Yeah. And I did not, I was like, there's no way that she's into girls, like, at all. I just didn't care. You didn't like, care? No. I was like, I can still, I'll make her into girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about your past, girl. What's your future look like? Ay, ay, ay. This is gonna sound so predatory. It's not predatory at all. No, this part is a little predatory. <laughs> so, because I wasn't sure she was ever into girls, I was like, all right, when we all go out as a group and we go to the bar, I'm gonna make sure Shay comes, and if I flirt with her, when she's like a little tipsy, it'll give me an indication as to whether she's about it or not. Because then if she's like tipsy, and her inhibitions are lowered, and she's like, and I'm like, ah, there is a hope. This. That's a flirting move. Anyway. And moral of the story, I didn't go out. She never what? came out, like legit <laughs> never came out. I was out. busy. But it was funny because I remember this so clearly. She asked me if I wanted to go out, blah, 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 blah. I was on my way home and I was like, no, like I'm coming home, like I don't want to. And then she's like, no, no, like just come, come. I was like, I live in Pickering, which is a little far from Toronto. She's from Pickering. And that's the first time that we realized that we literally live so around the corner from each other. So then I find out that she's from Pickering and I was like, all right, new in, I drove to work every day. This girl took the train. I was like, <laughs> if you ever need a ride, let me know. And that was my new in. As that was like her new in. Getting her to the bar, I was like, I'm getting her into my car alone. <laughs> <laughs> Legit after like every single game. I'd be like, do you need to ride home? No, you're good. All right, sick. I'll talk to you tomorrow. And then finally she said yes. <laughs> I think what had happened is I'd asked you 
the day prior, being like, hey, if you want to ride home from the game tomorrow, let me know. And you were like, yeah, sure, that'd be great, actually, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I, like, panicked. <laughs> so I spent so long, I went and got my car detailed, I put, like, a new little, like, air freshener thing in there, like, I made sure my car was looking fresh, because I was like, alright, I'm gonna pick this girl up in style, it's gonna be sick. And then she legit sits in my car, she goes, smells like Play-Doh. I like, didn't mean to say Play-Doh, in my defense. It smelled like Jolly Ranchers. Which isn't a bad thing, but Play-Doh is not a good thing. I just are to impress you, you guys. I know. I like Play-Doh. And while we were on the drive home, I had made mention, because we were kind of bonding over the music that I was playing, whatever, and I made mention that I had bought a ticket to Ultra Miami, and now the person that I was supposed to go with kind of like flopped, and we weren't on good terms anymore, so I was talking about how I have to sell my ticket, and whatever, blah, 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 and I was so bummed because I really wanted to go. And I was actually gonna go, but the person I was supposed to go with bailed, and I didn't want to just go with a random, so yeah. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna like, it's not meant to be, I'm not even gonna bother about it. it was and then she brought it up, and I literally lost my mind. Yeah. I was like, shut up. I was like, yeah. okay, so we're going to Miami. The first time we ever hung out, ever, was in Miami. Yeah, we didn't sit, we together, didn't sit together, together on the plane. We went to the Cheesecake Factory and sat and talked for about four and a half hours. So long. It's funny though, because like, when we were in Miami, we were sharing like a bed that was this big. Like It, it was, was like a futon, it, oh my God, but like so a baby small. futon. And since she was dating someone, we literally slept like this. <laughs> Alright, good night! But yes, anyway, all that comes and goes, we go, it was amazing. It just like really solidified our friendship after that. Oh yeah. Yeah, we were like buddies after that. Buddies. Buddies. Yeah. We show up to work and all we talk about is ultra. Yeah. We weren't trying to like rub it in or like be obnoxious. No. I just truly had the best weekend of my life. It was awesome. And I was just like, so, like on a high and like yeah. so excited that one, I went to Miami. Two, I went to Ultra. Three, they got to hang out with me. I had a new best friend. Now, literally. And so, whatever, we're going with our merry lives. We're still buddies. We're like seeing each other at work. It's all good. And then one day, basically, both of our lives just kind of like shit just hit the fan all at once. Crumbled into on the a million same little day, pieces. On the same day. The exact same day. Like within the hour. It was so bizarre. So, I got like. I'm broken up with over text. And then the person that I was talking to, I realized that they had a girlfriend the entire time yeah. we've been, we were talking. Yeah. So basically we're both like, haha, well screw us, right? We're clearly pieces of shit. Would you like to hang out and we can go eat ribs? Yes. We so we went to the best. best. Yeah, we did. It was and it was the best. Yeah. And then we did the most that weekend. Look at the home. No, she stayed the entire time. Yeah. And Shay likes to make it seem like I'm the one who like made the move and whatever, but this girl, she's been trying to cuddle. You've been trying to cuddle. I see through you. Trying to be like, I was just, that's just like how I sleep. We're just being yeah. friendly. <laughs> Ali was very friendly, but here we are. <laughs> you loved it. As soon as she like started to make a move to be even remotely like cuddly or anything, I like texted all my friends the next day and like called them all. I like legit had like a town hall she meeting. And I was like, what does this mean? <laughs> I am very interested in this. What is happening? Yeah, you freaked out a bit. I did freak out. You freaked out. And then I made the move. Finally. <laughs> it took so long. And yes. here we are. Here we are. In our little life. Our little life. It wouldn't have yeah. another way. I know. I love that story. I love that story. Like breaking it down, it gets, I feel like it gets more complicated than it really is. Yeah. It was like a lot more chill. Like it, it developed very organically. Yes. It's just like, I don't know. It's just crazy how everything happens for such a reason. My wish is cracked. I'm not getting emotional. I'm just saying. <laughs> just whatever. I love you. I'm so lucky to have you. You're right. <laughs> So we have exciting news. We're pregnant. <laughs> Both of us at the same time. We just, I don't know how it happened. It's amazing. So we were talking about our channel and where we want it to go and the goals that we want to achieve. Yeah. And uh, we decided that we want to start vlogging. Yes, we do. We want to start vlogging. So we're super excited. I am really excited. I'm excited to just like be able to put out more kind of organic content yeah. as opposed to just like sitting down, putting a camera in front of us, waiting for that good light. Yeah. 
like no. doing challenges, which are fine. Yeah, we love we'll it. probably still do challenges here and there. But I think our main focus right now is Get to vlogging. yeah, start vlogging. If you have any advice about vlogging that you want to yeah. give us, because we're new, so you gotta bear with us for a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. We'll see. You don't know what you're doing. No. We don't know what we're doing. As a unit, I have no freaking idea. <laughs> but yes, until then, bye for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button, like, comment, do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. Do the damn thing. Other than that, we out. See ya. That was fucking weird. <laughs>